remember, you know, at least half of the class lah, uh, during that course. Right. Uh, the second one is what you can do is to to have a good engagement with student is try to relate the activities or the course with their future career. Right. Try to relate. I mean, for example, if uh, for example in my ecology class, so if we have a case study, so they have uh, their job uh, position, isn't it? So for example, researcher, lecturer, or teacher, something like that. So what? Uh, for example, in Kim Kim case case study, like in Kim River pollution case study. So I'm going to create this case study and ask them, what are your punya role? Can apa yang you boleh buat? Uh, as you in your position, as you in your career, that career, what you can do. So we can look at different perspectives, how they're going to prevent this kind of thing in the future, uh, based on different roles. And even in my class previously, they have a a job, a group uh, as a politician. So can okay, different perspectives. So we, we will know uh, how they think, uh, what they can do, because, you know, to become politician nowadays, everyone can be a politician, right? So it's going to make your punya class more fun, right? the punya activities. And this is just an example, lah. I mean, sometimes uh, we don't don't need to be so serious, lah. I mean, you know, in one of the classes, and this is what I did during the PKP time, lah. So I know that they have. Uh, a lot of time, kan? Uh, masa balik kampung tu, uh, and also they have a free internet. I don't know. I'm not sure, kan? Uh, so I recommend them to watch these uh, movies, lah. So after that, I uh, will ask. Oh, they need to come up with three word summary of that movie. So this is the thing. It's like you creating a career for them, or to look. I mean, the situation. For example, if they didn't get the job that they really want, they, they want, for example, as a researcher, as a biologist, or as a, uh, a lecturer, for example. So what can you do? Okay. So this to, this is to open up their mind. Lah. So there's a lot of things that you can become in the future, or lots of work that you can do. However, the most important part is to be mentally prepared, to have a patience, uh, you know, just you know sometimes let's say to them that redah je lah kan as long as you get a job you have the experience after after six month experience then you can usually can apply for you know the job that you really want because nowadays it's very competitive and usually industry or company want someone that have a uh, experience first yeah. so that is the reality that sometimes we share this kind of reality to to them, so they will they will see. So the reality, the reality, what is happening out there, okay? All right. The good thing is when you create this thing, you can link it up to your e-learning platform, and can okay, so easier for the student lah. Uh, for example, this thing. Uh, other than the job, or you can create something like. So if you did not become a biologies or whatever you can come uh, for example there's an opportunity as a youtuber or insta famous something like that yeah so we need to try to it's not encourage i mean try to expose them to other opportunities can okay. for example you can become an entrepreneur sometimes it's a very good thing and sometimes in my in one of my classes i I ask them. So, if you are entrepreneur or if you are business man, what kind of what kind of product that you can sell, something like that. So, it's just a short time for us, five to ten minutes, just to to have a good conversation before we start our class, something like that. And the last part is these are some of the activities. Like, try to make the activities looks fun, like, at least. Usually, it's not fun. But try to make it fun. Lah. So this is an example. Uh, for example, this uh, debate session can in my bioethic class. For example, so usually we did it in the in the hall. Can tapi during the PKP, we still manage manage to to do this by using the WebEx platform. Can and then 
make sure for them to upload upload all the information for example each group uh, have their own topic yeah, for the db so uh, each group will upload their information so, i mean the info the answers or the points for each db to their wall so other group can group lain yang tak dapat topik tu boleh faham uh, group lain punya perbincangan or something like that so uh, the other group can benefit from from the other side by using the platform and then you link it up to your e-learning so easier for them uh, to make a revisions in the future uh, can for your punya test or, or your punya final exam something like that all right this is a bioethic canvas uh, yeah. previous year usually we we make like a sm small symposium where we invite other lecturer to assess our students uh, so it's like a mini symposium so uh, lecturer can have you know question and, side, uh, and answer session directly to the students um, however during the PKP we only managed to do it you know to this class for example student after they finish uh, do their canvas they upload it and at the same time I asked them uh, ask all the students to vote for the best uh, research canvas for example, as you can see here, by using this uh, padlet, as you can see, there is a like and dislike button, kan? Kat sini. Uh, so I asked them to to vote for the best poster, lah. So you can come up with the the, the best uh, poster, the best canvas for this uh, assignment, lah. And at the same time, they also can comment at the bottom there. If they, you know, they want to comment to to the, the canvas, they can do it directly. And this is an example of the poster, lah. Uh, same and uh, the good thing about the pedal is you can it's not like come to get all the information there no i mean for this is for the example for example this is for the ecology class um if the assignment is to create a poster and then at the same time they have assignment to to make a video a youtube video so they just uh, put their posters and their link to the youtube video in that padlet can it's easier for you to check la, to assess them in the future and this is one of the activities uh, in my ecology class this is the topic is about the animal adaptations i mean after you give a short lecture on animal adaptations you create an activity where the student can um choose I mean the characteristic of the animals then after that they need to draw it so it's really fun you know where in the class they're going to draw and sometimes they can they have time to color it and then after that they need they going to explain it it's good for them to to have a you know good communication skill ataupun they boleh present directly apa yang dia ada lah it's going to be be of course lah it's going to be funny kan because they're going to create <laughs> a monster or alien something like creature okay? so then after that you you ask them to upload it on padlet so everyone can look into others uh, creation at uh, pictures good for others all right the good thing about padlet is this uh, what we call is a web application this thing is free it is free and then after you you make the activities you can save it or you can share it to the media social platform or you can save it as, as a pdf so this can be your evidence for your test dcp right? and then if you can link it up to your e-learning platform this is good thing to get your blended learning certificate so other than you share the youtube uh, youtube videos uh, the quizzes can uh, you also can do this blended learning you link it this padlet and the bad thing is it's not a bad thing like, i mean this thing is a bit expensive uh, for the full versions however for the free version you can have three activities three activities so it means that if you need to create more than three activities you can delete the previous one make sure you save it first so the maximum number of activities per account is only three mm. however if you can if you have a you know several email accounts you have extra activities lah. so i think it's not that expensive lah because 
you just need to pay 144 ringgit uh, per year. Uh, it's not that expensive uh, for the full version. But previously, you know, I have several <laughs> accounts, uh, email accounts. So I have a number of activities that I can uh, use. Um, I think that's it uh, from me. Lah. So I open for question and answer sessions if you have one. Thank you, Fata. Okay, thank you, Fariza. Is there anyone to ask, want to ask the question? Okay, Dr. Saleha, wait a second. Eh? Dr. Oh, hello, uh, assalamu alaikum. Uh, that was very, very enlightening, uh, Farida. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so the question: How many times, how many activities that you do using Padlet per course? So the reason I ask this is how many hours the students spend on it. And the reason I ask that again is because do they expect grades from them? And if they do, how do you grade them? Oh, for the Padlet, I didn't grade. It's just an activity class. However, mm -hmm. I just grade them based on their punya assignment. Lah. Uh, as I see. Show, yeah, as, as uh, I showed you before, it's just a platform to compile the punya activities. Aja lah. uh, for example, this one. Mm -hmm. uh, this one can add the punya assignment is to 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 make a poster and also a video. So mm -hmm. the template is no, they they need to put that thing in that lah. So the assessment is based on the rubric lah. Of course, for the poster and also for the videos, there's a rubric for that lah. I see. So the activities for the Padlet thing is not assessed lah. I see. Mm. So and they are fine with that. I mean. Um... Yeah, they are fine. Okay. Okay. They are happy. I I believe they are happy with that lah. So because it's easier for them to, 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 to you know, because you link it up to the e-learning platform, so easier for them to, to, to write or whatever to, to put the information there. Yeah. 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 True. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Fine. Yep. That's it. Then. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you, Dr. Sally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Next, eh? Dr. Barizan. We have Dr. Azman. One okay, question. I will allow Rata Azman to speak. Okay, Rata Azman. Hello, Assalamualaikum. Hello. <laughs> okay, Dr. Azman is a very, very interesting talk. I mean, um, I just uh, try to figure out, I mean, how to uh, form a group which um, have the uh, same interest of group members. Um, you actually are playing uh, such criteria, right? And and it's work for your for your class. Yeah. Yeah, really impressed me. I mean, uh, is it also possible to other class? Yeah, um, because I, I I present this method to my ecology class and bioethic class. So so far it's okay. I mean, you can try. So this is how you can you know, expose them to the, 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 the career, can sometimes they tak tahu job scope. Even after I create this group, can based on their opinion interest, I, I ask them to, for example, for bioethics, uh, what are the unethical things uh, for this job in you know, position can yang happen uh, in recent years ataupun in the news. So they can come up with the unethical thing that yang from the news, lah, for example, lecturer, what are the un unethical things that you know keluar dekat uh, news can for example plagiarism something like that lah so this is a good thing to expose them to the reality lah so you can try i mean it's a good thing if you can for example for genetic courses uh, you can assign them for example as a researcher as a lecturer as a science officer and then try to really something like that i'm not sure for the other courses but it works for my course lah yeah, I'm just thinking of if we can have um, the same group throughout the from year one to uh, year four, then it will be good. Otherwise, from that, from time to time, we need to create new group. And in some cases, students they are not very happy working with other people. Well, 
well, yeah. rider and so on. Have you checked? Is, it, is, it, is there any issue on the um, student, among student, and in terms of collaboration, are they, are they really satisfied with the uh, output? Um, have you checked so, that? Yeah. So far, no problem, but there's a one case where some of the students didn't give uh, no cooperation. So for there's a rubric that like, can, can reduce their marks based on the assignment and something like that. But that one is only one case. Like. Oh, that's uh -huh. good. Yeah, if, if that's the case, I think maybe you can share the, I mean, the group so that we just continue with the same group. So yeah. that definitely they were happy. Uh -huh. Okay, so you get a P4, P5. I mean, they are happy working in a group. So that yeah. is the most important thing. So we don't have to, I mean, uh, pinpoint which will be the good combination. Is it is it based on the rate or just based on their interest? Based on their interest. Yeah, then. <laughs> yes. However, sometimes we need to highlight to them that we can say that in reality, can you need to work together? You can. You, you don't know that person. You need to. That's why sometimes uh, I just share to them the importance of team working ataupun uh, kita nak cakap kena bekerja sama lah. Uh, tak semestinya you kena dalam group yang useless. Tetapi in reality you akan bekerja and then you can meet uh, with different types of person. This is a good thing. This is a good training for you guys to before you go out there lah kan. So sometimes even though that group tu dia tak berapa suka tapi kita try to convince you need to work together kan. Something like that. You kena bekerja sama in order for you to finish your assignment. You can say to them something like if you want to go fast you can go alone. However, if you want to go far you need to go together. Sometimes I share to them some videos on you know team working. Uh, something like that lah. Try to you know bagi dia orang nampak sikit lah. It's, it's not necessarily that they have a you know, group yang dia orang dah selesa. Sometimes dia daripada tahun satu, tahun dua, group yang sama. By using this, usually uh, se sebab saya dapat dapat uh, student tahun tiga dan tahun empat lah biasanya. So biasanya dia dah ada group yang dia dah familiar. Tetapi bila saya buat macam ni, totally akan change dia punya team members lah. Uh, I think this is a good thing because you can uh, uh, convince them that Okay, when you go out there, you can berjumpa pelbagai orang, you can bekerja sama, something like that. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, Dr. Azman. Okay, is there any other questions from Andy? If no other questions, so Dr. Pariza, thank you very much for your thank you. sharing. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Fata, and thank you to all the participants who joined this session. Thank you very yes. much. Hopefully, you can give something, uh, you can use it, or you know, it can benefit uh, any one of us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Pariza. So, I think we may move to the Next uh, presenter, right? Yes, Dr. Shazwani at 12. Dr. Shazwani at 12. Oh, yes. So we follow the schedule. Okay, now as usual, coffee break. Hmm. Today, so many coffee breaks. Yeah. <laughs> While waiting for the next presenter. Okay. All right, thank you. All right.